the Knights of St. Columba, the foundation of the Knights of St. Columba, was a project of faith. And the activity and mission of the Knights of St. Columba has always been a project of faith. In that faith now, we gather to celebrate this Mass. fantastic hasn't it but it's not alone here today it's for the last year I mean we started it off in the Holy Redeemer Church in Clydebank Iona Westminster and Rome and here today what fantastic place back to where the order was founded a hundred years ago on the 5th of October 1919 here we are a hundred years old happy birthday Absolutely brilliant mass. I thought it was very solemn. Um, it really epitomised, you know, really celebrating a hundred years of uh, service here across Britain. Um, it was fantastic to I think we had three archbishops and four bishops, and I think priests were in double figures. Um, so I really think it was a fantastic day. Um, it's uh, it's been a great weekend. You know, the Supreme Council has been very successful. A lot of new ideas coming forward. New men come on the board this year. Um, so to move into a second century, I think really what we're finding is, uh, you know, we're going to be moving forward in, 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 a, in a direction of service and faith and continuing to tell our story. It's amazing, the biggest, biggest one of my life, I must be honest. Very, very happy. 
Um, I was happy to be a Knight of St. Columba. To be a director of a Knight of St. Columba is just a dream come true, you know? I've only been a Knight for five years. And um, seems to be going through the ranks quite quickly, but to have to spend time in Glasgow where we were founded 100 years ago with the brothers, it's just, it's incredible, really. Absolutely incredible. Uh, it's an absolutely fantastic testament, I think, really, to the living and breathing of the Catholic faith in Glasgow across the UK. And uh, may God bless us with many, many more years of service to come uh, for his glory and the salvation of souls. It's fantastic. It's a great privilege and honour to be here uh, to help re represent Wales here in the heart of Scotland. It's a great privilege. It's a fantastic achievement and we've just got to make sure we build on it going forward and make sure that we're offering to the world the kind of support that the world needs right now, which is quite a lot. My highlight is the unity that we have. We are like a, a big family, the whole world, wherever we go. Absolutely wonderful, a very spectacular service. Long day yesterday, we had to set off early doors to get here. But well worth the trip, I'm really looking forward to it now. My jaw's been dropping for the last 12 months and I have to say that. And we see all these people in here today who, who are here to celebrate and who have, as that Bishop Malcolm said, heart to heart to the people and you know thank you to everybody who has worked so hard for the last 12 months in the promotion of the Knights of St Columba. And yes, all brothers across the order, with God's grace and our Blessed Mother and our ever seen Holy Spirit, which will guide this great order of ours to survive another 100 years, it is up to each and every one of us tell our story, to share our dream, to lay the foundations for our future.